So you just got yourself a brand new shooter game. Turn it on, put in your PS3, you play it, or Xbox, whatever, and you join a match and you get your butt whooped. Well, here's a few tips to help you, either if you're a hardcore gamer, if you're an average gamer, or if you're a complete newbie, to help you do better in any shooter game whatsoever. Now, here specifically, I have Lost Planet 2 on because it was inside my PS3 already, so I decided to use this one instead. Um, so I'm gonna give you a few steps to help you do really well in shooter games and these are easy steps and with a little bit of practice you can be as good as some of those hardcore gamers without playing as much so the first step is look at your weapons here I mean whether it's Call of Duty, Lost Planet or any other first person third person shooter game always decide what weapon is good for you never ever pick a weapon just because it looks cool because most likely you will fail with it unless you actually know how to use it well um, also don't ever ever jump in to any situation in any kind of match just because you picked up a weapon that's you're really good with like um, I don't know you maybe a good sniper to get the rifle you know and then all of a sudden you're like let me go over here and start sniping people you gotta be aware of your situation and how good these other people are also remember that not every weapon is, you know, as fast as another weapon or, you know, as, um, doesn't, or it doesn't hold as much ammo or something. So learn the weapon well so that you know how long it takes to use, how fast it is, and how long it takes, you know, when you're reloading and other stuff like that. And that... Step two. When you're playing any shooter game... Oh, my God. Step two, let me just adjust the camera a little bit, is to identify what kind of player you are. Now, this can be easier said than done, because a lot of people, mm, they say they get a couple kills with this, oh, they must be good with it, but really, they're not. So, here's some tips to identify how, what kind of character, um, what kind of playing style you have. First off, pick weapons of every caliber, short, medium, long. Now, each one specifically, it doesn't have to be, you know, related to the weapon, like, uh, you could use a rifle, for example, for short range, like, because you're good with it, but, you know, pick the weapons accordingly to your situation, you know, so, we begin with how to identify if you're, you know, good with s small, short range. First, if you have fast reflexes, probably need to be in the front lines because in the front lines people will be throwing stuff at you people will do stuff they will they will I mean it's like war out there and you have to be sorry I have to adjust the camera a little bit you will have to be you know fast and quick and deliver some blows you know you can't just go over there and die every time you have to do something so yeah if you're good with medium medium is medium basically means that you are all around, that you can go back there and go up front, but not all the way up front and not all the way up back. You're kind of, you're basically the guys that take care of most of the ground. They take care of, you know, most of the accomplishments, whether if it's lost back to activating data posts or just killing people in between the close-up guys and the far-back snipers. And um, you are basically the heart of your team, so, you know, it takes a lot of, you know, skills to play in the middle position now then you have the far back guys now far back guys you know usually they do sniping but they have also another um other types as well you know they can depending on how well you know you push the enemy team back you know if you push them back to their spawn point or something like that you can they can pretty much you know come close they're just they're basically like the back of your lines like as last defense they are the ones so they're also very important. Every position is important. You just have to identify yourself with the correct weapons and with the correct situation. I recommend practicing it with friends because if you practice it with a friends, you know what they can do and you can try out all the weapons on them to see what works in enemy situations. Just, you know, be cautious that um what enemy people, I mean what other people will do because not all your people that you're going to face in the shooter game is going to be like your friend. So you have to be wary 
uh, yet to be, you know, wary of that situation. Step three, which is also very, very important to any kind of game, or hardcore or regular, is to know your maps. If you don't know your maps, you're pretty much, you know, done for. By studying maps, you can understand how and what the enemy does in certain situations, and uh, you can know your limits on the field of, you know, battles, depending on what they can do and what they can't do. By studying the map, I don't mean become a game freak and all that, you know, memorize it like a textbook or something, but I just mean that, you know, you just gotta know what every map has and what they can't, what the map, you know, can do for you. I mean, if you make the map work for you, then, you know, you're probably gonna have better kills and all that other stuff. How you, how you make a map work for yourself, you might ask. Don't do what I did. But <laughs> how you make a map work for yourself, basically speaking, all you need to do is... What I mean by knowing your map is understanding what the map can do for you. If you, for example, you know, have certain parts of the map that can be destroyed, then you don't have to worry about them when you're shooting, you know, in front of it or something like that. For example, like right here, if I would like to, I could easily destroy the wall and go attack my enemy so you can use that to your advantage also learn you know areas like hiding places anything like that I can hold down here in case somebody comes in to shoot me I could hide and pop up and get them again that's how you make the map work for you step number five, four okay first of all now we get to the shooting tips now all right as you see, I'm emoting my friend. He's the man. Alright, what you need to do is always aim for the head until it becomes natural. When it becomes natural, you'll realize sometimes that you just be, when you, you'll be like flashing around, boom, 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 and you'll be aiming for the head. So always do that to aim for the head, alright? Now here, as you can see here, I aim for the head, and he's not going to move. Okay, I don't know what happened right there, but um... Yeah, it didn't aim for the head. Now as he respawns, He's going to come back and actually give... As he respawns, he's going to come back and take that rifle here and show you an actual headshot, because that was just horrible. If he respawns today, he comes. Aim for my head. And there you have it. One, usually they're one-hit kills in almost all shooter games, they're one-hit kills. So, you know, there's nothing to be, uh, you know, used to your advantage. Now, now we're going to show you what happens in an actual fight. But we're not going to all stand here right next to each other to actually, you know. So we're going to go back, you know, across the different map points and then we're going to battle. Alright, starting now. <laughs> As you can see here, that was very unfair. <laughs> that was very unfair, but you know, <laughs> but you know what they say. Um, when you're unfair, it's use it to your advantage in any shooting game. Um, yeah, always aim for that kind of body part, the head. Always aim for the head. All right, step five is VSs or any kind of machines in any shooter game. When you see these machines right here, they're going to um, be used to your advantage. You can do whatever you want with them. And, um, you know, they're usually in every shooter game. So what you do is, you kind of look at it, and use them to your advantage. Use any weapons, Some, sometimes they have sig uh, significant weapons that they have, just for the VSs right there. So as you can see here, they're usually harder to kill, they're very good, and if you can train yourself to use them well, they become very um, useful. So now we're going to actually verse each other. Okay, that was pathetic. <laughs> I didn't know the VS was going to die that fast. Yeah, I actually didn't know it was going to die that fast. That, that was going to last, you know, a couple hits. But it's no problem at all because, you know, if you can use them to your advantage, some of them, they last a very, very long time. And, um, yeah, you can just, just use them and there's no problem with them. Also, use whatever you can find.
to your advantage. See, as you shoot from, as you shoot from far away, and you become better at that. I, I know he was standing still there. That's not really training. But as you practice your aim with a friend, then you know you can become better at it, and everything becomes a lot easier. A lot easier when you play. A lot easier when you become better with your aim and all that. And that's how you would use it. For the last part of this video, I'm just going to tell you tips on how to do well in just shooter games in general now. So, first of all, we've done aim for the head. Aim for the head is very, very important. Also, have a mixture of rolling and jumping. And jumping. Yep. And then we're going to have... Um, always have a game plan. Teamwork is the answer to everything. Teamwork is always the answer. And when the battle is over, you will most likely win. And remember, when you're and don't ever jump into any situation such as grenade explosions, anything like that, because you will most likely fail, and then it's, it won't be good. So don't do that. And those are my tips for shooter games. Also, if I haven't mentioned before, it's that um. You can usually roll and absorb damage of anything. Um, you can usually crouch, you can usually hide. Use those to your advantage and know your map situations. Then you can be, uh, you can do well in any shooter game. And those are my tips. This is X Killer Master here. See you all next time.